this must be the first rabbit stalking video I have done for a long time and it's on a piece of uh, farmland that I don't think I've shown before and on the way up the drive into the yard I noticed a rabbit on the left hand side in this gateway so as soon as I gathered my gear up out of the shogun I headed down the driveway to uh, see if I could nab it the farmer has been complaining about the rabbits digging in the garden which is just the other side of this fence there, that hedge so this was a perfect opportunity to uh, get one of the little rascals I was probably only about a 20 yard shot so easy enough I think my biggest problem was stalking quietly enough down the driveway not to spook the rabbit as I knew it would be very close to me once I rounded the gateway there unfortunately this is a young rabbit and it looks by the scabs on its eye and its anus that uh, it's suffering with a, a wee drop of maximatosis it's a hateful thing to see in the ground you're shooting over but there's not really much you can do about it I'll not be eating the rabbits now uh, but they definitely will come in handy for crow and magpie bait At the other end of the yard I noticed one or two rabbits along the bottom of the hedge just the other side of the silo wall but uh, I just could not get them in focus through the mass of twigs and that plus they were over 70 yards so I decided to try and work my way around the silo and see if I could get a closer opportunity I managed to spot one of the rabbits and get set up on the sticks. It was about a 65 yard shot but uh, he wasn't for hanging about or his mate wherever the heck he was hiding. I could still see them but there was no way I could get a shot through all that debris. Too much for a pellet to strike before I ever got near the rabbit. So I'm going to have to try and make my way even closer. Now it was a bit of tricky footwork navigating over a gate that was half lying down but uh, I managed to do it without spooking the rabbits. Of course they probably haven't been shot at as long time so that definitely helped. I managed to get within about 53 yards I checked the little uh, click chart I had in my pocket and set the elevation for about 55 and I'll just hold a wee tad low there was nothing handy between bushes sticking into here and there. I thought I would honestly spook the rabbit before I'd ever get the shot off but I did get a nice steady rest. Of course the camera wanted to focus in on the local flora and fauna in front of itself instead of the rabbit in the, in the, uh, in the background. Sorry. 
but I managed to get a nice clear focused image of the rabbit before I got the shot off. I got really good contact with the 0.22 Bisley Magnum and the rabbit hardly stirred. Oh, and if you're going to change your elevation for each shot, do remember to put it back to zero after each shot, otherwise you can get really confused. I've been shooting on and off on this ground since I was a teenager, back when I was still using a Weirich HW80. It's probably one of the pieces of ground I learned how to stalk on, set hides up, uh, decoy and bait crows and pigeons. Now I'm back, a good deal older, supposedly a little bit wiser. Um, with more up-to-date and modern uh, pre-charged air rifles. Still really enjoying it though. Didn't see any rabbits uh, in the next field here that I'm crossing. I was expecting to see a rabbit or two as there is evidence of them. But as I was walking up to this old gate, uh, I saw something in the distance. There was a rabbit in among the uh, rushes and reeds. It was a good distance, I think about 57 yards. I wasn't going to get any closer as there's a, a ditch before that gate and trying to navigate the both of them without spooking the rabbit was going to be very difficult. So again I clicked the elevation round to uh, compensate for the pellet drop and uh, set up for the shot. Initially the strike looked perfect, the rabbit went down and lay still, all was good. But as I rose again I could see the rabbit struggling. I got the rifle up for a second shot to finish it but it uh, was in among the reeds and I just couldn't get a clear shot. Next best option was to make my way over as quick as possible and uh, finish the job properly before it got into the hedge. I made a beeline for the hedge just in case it was about to jump into the cover but then noticed it lying in among the reeds stone dead. The worry was uh, unfounded thankfully. It was a headshot maybe a little far forward but uh, still proved uh, fatal and again this one had a a wee bit of a sign of maximatosis well we'll bag it up and I'll certainly find a use for it somewhere I'd covered another two three fields without getting any more opportunities and I'd sort of turned round and I was making my way back when I spotted uh, this boy down at the bottom of the field. Too far sh for a shot yet but I thought there might be an opportunity of getting closer.
The rabbit had dropped back down into cover again, so I took the opportunity and walked slowly up to where he was. I honestly wasn't expecting him to be there again. But once I got within about uh, 45 yards, guess who stuck his head back up out of the reeds again? Yep, Mr. Bunny. Thankfully the cover wasn't too thick to thread the pellet through and I dropped him with another headshot. I wasn't sure where I was going to find him, this side or the other of the barbed wire, but thankfully I spotted him. He must have been sitting on top of that bank and then rolled down off it after the shot. So I give his belly a little squeeze and put him into the bag. You see black rabbits now and again in this ground. People think they're somebody's pet but it's something that occurs now and again in uh, nature. The same as uh, you would see a, a, a white or a black deer. I've even seen rabbits where the white coloration of the belly fur has actually started to come up their flanks, the height of their shoulder or more. And even a ginger one would you believe it. Looks like the rabbits have been using this mossy rock to uh, mark their territory. Good sign there should be something about this wee overgrown garden. And sure enough a spot one, just the other side of this briar patch but I can't get a shot at him because if I kneel down onto the sticks I won't be able to see him through the briars so I sort of play dumb and ignore him walk a wee bit further forward hoping that I'll get a break in the briars where I can get a uh, steady shot off the sticks sometimes this technique works and sometimes it doesn't. Just depends how much shooting pressure has been on the ground. Because if the rabbits think they can see you but you haven't seen them, they'll stay still. And thankfully he's still there, 40 yards away. I take the shot between the eyes as he was facing me. This rabbit looks a lot cleaner, no signs of maximatosis, so hopefully it hasn't reached this part of the farm yet.
Well, the light's going, and uh, I think it's time to call it an evening. But I haven't done too badly for the first time I've been here, after rabbits with an air gun for a long time. And hopefully the maximatosis will not take uh, too much of a grip here, and I'll be able to do it more often. <laughs>